No, it's definitely not only physical. Physical hugs are awesome, and consensual physical hugs have, you know, untold benefits, lots of benefits. Any time that you're coming from a place of truth in love, that's in the space of a hug. You know, in the book, I talk about radical transparency. It's expressing with your words that you're hugging them. And then that may follow up with an actual hug, or the virtual hug may stand alone. On Facebook Live, for example, if I were on Facebook Live right now, I could say to all my friends and families, I'm sending you a virtual hug with lightness and joy, and I hope that today is a day that you'll really focus in on how much I care about you and really like kind of soaking the joy out of today. It looks a lot of different ways, but basically at the core, it's a clear expression of love. Whether it's actually touching someone, like a hug, or it's holding them in that space of a hug and sharing how much they mean. A hug can be about any kind of action that comes from a place of, that comes from your heart. So it can be anything from holding a door open picking up a piece of trash. It could be raising money for your favorite charity or to make a difference for any kind of, you know, any, any group that matters to you. That's all a hug. You know, one of the coolest things about a hug that I think maybe captures it concisely, which you're pushing me to do, which I love, is you can't give a hug without getting a hug. So like when I do something for a charity, I get so much back. When I do something for a friend, I get so much back. So it's like you're giving a hug, but you're also getting a hug. It could, you could also think about it like a win-win kind of scenario.